Here you go. Uh, thank you. Green tea for Quincy, eh? Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> How can I help you? Hello. I hope you're having a great day. Can I have a kale salad and a small chai tea latte, please? Um, and no, no regular milk, just almond milk and no whipped cream. Uh, sorry for the long order. Did you say you wanted a small? Yep, just a small. Thank you so much. Thank Are you me. sure you want a small? Yep. And no whipped cream? Yeah. Okay, name? Um, Patty. One small chai tea latte for fatty? Oh, sorry. Patty, make sure you use almond milk instead of regular milk. And did you want peanuts with that? That'll be $7.42. Here you go. $7.42. Are you there? Whoa, 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 whoa. How dare you? Are you serious? Who, who's the manager at his store? You know what? Never mind. You're so worried about what goes into her mouth that you can't see the crap that's coming out of yours. Listen, I don't care if you're fit or you do keto. You ask her for peanuts like she's an elephant, but the real elephant in this room is your ego. Have you ever gotten bullied? Do you know what that feels like? This ain't high school anymore, Karen. This is real life. And people like you live life like a seesaw. In order for you to feel high, you have to put others down. But I'm gonna give you a life lesson now. Eventually, you'll be the one falling to the ground. Seriously? You're just pro-fat acceptance. No. Fat acceptance is accepting that you're going to an early grave, and there's nothing you can do to be saved. Couldn't you see she's working to change? I mean, her food selection was obvious proof. Or do you shame sick people in hospitals, too? Plus, none of that even matters. You never know what somebody's going through. Everybody is fighting silent battles, some living in invisible prisons. And in case you didn't know, here's some nutritional wisdom. Food is not just something you eat. It is also a coping mechanism. And the more you shame, the more you lower someone's self-esteem, creating guilt and low confidence, which leads to stress eating and weight gain, which means you're causing what you claim you want to prevent. Stop glorifying obesity. I'm not glorifying obesity. I'm glorifying treating people as human beings with decency. So many studies show that fear and shame do not motivate change. They just make people more depressed and miserable because mental health is twice as important as physical. I know people with perfect bodies better than yours and much better than mine yet felt ugly inside. People like Marilyn Monroe, the most beautiful actress of all time, committed suicide. So don't victimize the victim with the words that you say. Plus, I mean, how can you not have some kind of eating disorder living in this world today? Let me tell you something serious. Many magazine cover models work out and diet so hard that they no longer have their period. Yeah, it's real like that. And then after all of that training for one day of shooting, they're photoshopped. So they don't even look like that. Our beauty standards are so unrealistic. They are crimes against us to trick us into spending more money to reach an image that never even existed. We are all victims and I didn't even mention the food system. Did you know companies like Doritos spend millions of dollars putting people in MRI machines so they can tweak their formula to addict us? Our whole world is a vicious cycle, a self-hating trap, and it starts early. Wanna hear a crazy stat? 
One study shows that 80% of 10-year-olds' greatest fear is being fat. Now look, I'm not gonna shame you for shaming her. That's lame. I forgive you because I know you too can change. This world needs more understanding, less blame, more support, less shame. Life is so hard already. So instead of putting people down, telling them what they should look like or who they should be, let's accept them for who they are and lovingly encourage them to be who they could be. Patty, um, I just, I have plenty of trouble. Just... Look, um, growing up, my mom always told me that I wasn't good enough and that I was never thin enough. And I don't know, sometimes I just feel better about myself when I judge other people and everything back there was just a projection of my own insecurities. I didn't mean anything that I said. I'm really, really sorry. Mr. Sharp, hi. What are you doing here? What is it, Karen? I can't come and check on my own coffee shop? No, you're the boss. I see you've met my daughter, Pat. Are you crying, sweetie? No, Karen told a really funny joke. You ready to go, sweetie? Come on, baby. 